How's it hanging, fellas? I'm Otos, and this is another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, and in today's episode, we are Lotta's new testimony. We're gonna cross-examine Lotta, because she turns out to be a lying bitch. She lied about pretty much everything she told us up to this point. She's not a student at a university, but an investigative photographer. She wasn't there to be photographing shooting stars, but instead Gordy, the supposed Nessie-like monster that appears on Gord Lake. I don't know, I got a feeling she's hiding way more than that. And I thought she was cute. Also, I noticed that you can't pause the game right now when you're on this screen. A lot of new testimony. But you can pause the game on this screen. Why can't I pause the game and save it? During that previous screen? What the fuck? Actually, I'm not a research student at a university. <laughs> I hope this time I can just put press and without being penalized, like what the fuck? And what manner of person are you? I'm not sure I'm high faulting enough to be called a man or anything. I'm an investigative photographer. An investigative photographer? Yup, you get your photo and sell to the press. That kind of business. I was taking pictures at my sister graduation last year. Guess what? Oh, uh, I don't care. That was a UFO. Just hanging in the sky, UFO. A UFO. You know, an unidentified flying object. A UFO. That's when I... <laughs> That's when I had sort of a revelation. I knew I should become an investigative photographer. I see. That's a fun hobby. Kind of a shaky basis for a career. Phoenix, your fucking basis for a career was probably some bullshit too, so don't judge her, alright? Imagine what a scoop would be if I got a picture of that monster. Is Gordy really all that newsworthy? Heck yeah, they even had him up on the TV. I'm not sure that appearing on the local news rumors of the month segment qualifies. Last month's segment was Bigfoot sighted on Acorn Hill, I believe. The next murder gonna take place on Acorn Hill and we're gonna have Bigfoot involved. Hey, I also had a picture of him in the newspaper for real. Mr. Wright, this is one fight I do not believe you can win. Let's keep moving, shall we? Yes, Your Honor. That's why I was camping out by the lake. That's where you put the automatic sensor on your camera? Yep, borrowed it from a university professor. It analyzes every sound it picks up, and when it gets a bang, it snaps a shot. Yep. So how many pictures has it taken so far? The only time the camera triggered was that night. Hmm. That's all I was hiding. I think it's time you told us why you felt you had to hide the true purpose at the lake. Yeah, if word got out what I was up to, the lake be swarmed with competitors. Competitors. Yeah, second rate shutter box trying to steal my scoop. Oh, is that the only reason you were hiding the truth? Well, actually, Mr. Wright, I'll not have you asking questions with no relevance in this case. They are very rele relevant, though. Whatever you say, fucker. No, you told it to keep quiet. When I heard the bang, I looked right straight at at the lake. Exactly what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. That was a lot sharper a sound than I would have expected. Hmm. It was not, wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the whole time. It wasn't much else to look at? Yup. I don't know, she heard a bang and, sh and she thought Gordy was out there. I kind of doubt she wastes any time looking at a boat. Well, what do I do now? What are you giving me that look for? Definitely sus. Maybe it's time for some evidence. Witness continue. Hold your hush puppies pops, I'm getting there. Then I saw a flash in one of the main's hands and I heard another gunshot. This light travels faster than sound. Still nothing on the lake, but the boat at that time? 
Oh wait, so you're thinking maybe he was shot from some other place? I don't think so, no. Blake was smooth as glass and nobody was on the shore neither. Hmm. I better find some sort of contradiction. This testimony won't be able to beat on karma any other way around. There has to be something. Well, that's the whole problem of how many times Gon was shot. It really, really fucking bothers me. Nothing else, really. Unless there's something about the map of the place? Doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with that. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Not photograph, blah blah blah. Get a photographer, I don't want to scoop. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna save. You save file, new expose myself when I'm recording. Scamping out by the lake. But that was all I was hiding. I looked right straight out at the lake. Wasn't much else to look at. Miss Hart, were you really looking at that boat? What's with you? Of course I was looking at it. It was the only thing out there any normal person be looking at. I agree, any normal person would. But you're fucking stupid. But <laughs> you are far from normal. What? You all wanna step over here and say that? Oh, no. We're camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. I feel like Phoenix is really pushing it. It's just really reaching. Order continue, Mr. Wright. It's fascinating. Testify that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You need them to search for Gory, and that's what you were doing. Not to mention binoculars wouldn't really help much with the fog. You just see the fog closer. Well, now that you all mention it, I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there and all. Miss Hart, are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? Sorry, y'all. I wasn't fibbing. Really, the fuck does fibbing mean? I was just, I thought, you know, I could have been witness to a murder and all. Jesus Christ, Laura, you fucking idiot. Serious shit, not some fun fucking game you can play where you get to fucking go to a stand and sh say a bunch of bullshit. God, I got excited. I was sure I was watching the boat till now. Now that I think about it, I was sleeping in my car and not even fucking paying attention. This is totally uncalled for. But hey, we got the photograph, we got proof. Still, we can't see who is shooting who in this. Right, right. That's why I took this photo and... Snap. Witness, that's enough. Had a long day, shut your fucking face. Shut my what? What was she going to say? That she loves me? She took the photo and what? Wait a second. She even had a photograph to prove it. But you really can't tell who the photo is shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said I'll drop the quality I might, but she'll let us see who's who. Oh, fucking god, she enlarged that photo. Enlarge your penis right now, adds fucking half a meter to it. These ads are fucking hilarious. <laughs> Each and every single one of them is absolutely fucking funny as fuck. Man, I love this fucking drink. It's great. Why well, won't one karma let her show it? Show it to me, bitch. I've got a hunch. Yeah, got hunchy bunchies. I bet I'll not photoshop something bad for one karma. This is my chance. 
if I'm wrong, then I'll then it'll mean prison for Edgeworth or worse. Electric chair. Say do. Show me your enlarge enlargements, Miss Laura. Miss Hart, <laughs> look at this photograph. You enlarged this photograph, did you not? Yeah, I did. Why has the enlargement not been presented to the court? Because it does not exist. What are you all talking about? You're the one who told me not to show it in the court in the first place. You old fool. You yeah, fuck from karma. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? Um, um, fucking shit. It's hard. Show the photo to the court. Show us the enlargement. Show us your enlargement. The prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. Objection denied. Fuck you. The witness will show the enlargement to the court. Here it is. Great. <laughs> Two bald fucks shot each other. What is it? Spy versus spy? I don't fucking know. We still cannot see who is firing in the shot. Could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. One thing it did show us is that somebody was shooting with their left leg. Left. Hand. Like photo added to the court record. Yeah, they shot them with the left leg. Happy now, Mr. Wright? Hmm, there has to be something. You asked for this enlargement, you got the enlargement. You fool. A little good it has done it. Any of us. That's why I requested she not show it. Hmm, I suppose this means that the cross-examination is over, obviously. And I would like to close the cross-examination of Miss Laura Hart. None too soon, at the large and waste of my time. Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed to when this trial begun. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course. Then I believe it is time for me to declare my verdict. Well, it's not supposed to go like this. There has to be a clue in this photo somewhere. This is so fucking bad, real bad. What should I do? Ah, fuck. I don't know. Object to the enlargement? Show other evidence. Your Honor, there's something decidedly strange with this enlargement. What might that be? Hold on, I need to see my list of evidence. Hold on. Fingerprints on the gun. Bear right hand. Bear prints from Edward's right hand. Where is that enlargement? Oh, it replaced the original photo. That's funny. Well, you can see someone's firing with their left hand, not right hand. What's all this about? You will show the court what you mean. What about this photo? It's fucking strange. Here goes nothing. I'll show the judge what's strange about this photo. It's uh, right here up his nose. Here. Here, your honor. The shooter? I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter is strange? Look at the hand holding the pistol, your honor. The hand? That hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that the left hand contradicts. The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. You know, I like this game a hundred fucking times more than I did Duncan Ron, but this game at least doesn't waste any time with bullshit dialogue that fucking amounts to nothing. And also, characters in it aren't fucking stupid and annoying. I love this game, but Duncan Ron pissed me the fuck off. Could be playing this game for a hundred episodes, I wouldn't mind. However, the prints on the murder weapon were from Edgeworth's right hand. Also, solving puzzles here. I mean, it's kind of similar to the first, to Danganronpa, I mean. But like, I don't know, a little bit more grounded in reality instead of doing a bunch of fucking logical... Fucking really stretching... What could have the murderer intended? Because the murderers in that game were fucking stupid. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph 
is not Mr. Edgeworth. It's fucking strange though, then what? Edgeworth picked up the gun? Could it be that whoever is in this photo shooting, the guy with the gun in the photo, is actually Mr. Hammond who was trying to kill Edgeworth? But he missed somehow from this fucking distance. And then someone shot him, that's the second bang. And but the fucking pistol matched with the bullet. How the fuck did it match that though? What the fuck? And then Edgeworth just simply picked up the gun with his left hand. I mean right hand. While the guy was shooting with his left hand. I don't know, it would really help if they weren't both dressed the fucking same. At the very least, now that everyone in this courtroom has quieted down, I would like to convene this court of law. Mr. Wright, yes, Your Honor, you have given us definitive proof today. We not know it was. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? Well, Miss Larry. Yeah, I'm gonna blame it on my best bro. The victim? There's only one explanation remaining. Remaining? The man who shot the victim has was no other than the victim himself. Order, order. So you are saying that the victim committed suicide? Yes, your honor, I can think of another explanation. Though I have no idea how he did that by shooting and at someone else. Maybe... Edgeworth knew what's gonna happen and he put on like an armored plate and the bullet bounced off of it and shot the other guy. That's that seems to be the only remaining option. I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. But suicide is out of the question. What? Suicide is never out of the question, okay? Examination of the victim's wound reveals the distance at which he was shot. The distance? Yep. 100 yards. The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. Further. A meter? That's three feet. Yeah, speaking of fucking proper metric system, not some garbage fucking American made up bullshit. One meter is three feet? What the fuck around wrong with these people? There's no way it could have been suicide. I'm surprised Americans don't have their own made up bullshit measurement of time. Mr. Von Karma, are you sure of the accuracy of the data? Of course, I had already considered the possibility of suicide, see? Robert's autopsy report. Time of death, sometime on the 24th or 25th, shot from approximately one meter away. Hmm, I see. Very well, allow me to state my opinion. I think both of you are stupid, and I want to go home. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, the prints on the gun revealed that the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for this trial for the day. The court orders the defense and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, he hates it. He probably doesn't investigate shit. This is all. This court is adjourned. Am I pronouncing that correctly? December 26th. Oh, wow. Look, Ed, sure if I did it. That was a close one. Hey, don't you have anything to say? No, I have yet to be declared innocent, right? Well, yeah, but what happened out there on the lake anyways? If he didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter was about a meter away, too. A merman? <laughs> well, don't give me that look. I'd not kill him. I was just kidding around, man. Fucking cheer up. Why are you so fucking 
mad at me. I'm just joking around in a court of law. What do you want? This is a fucking suspect of a murder. This is a joke. Look, I'm going to go check on Maya. Oh, right. What? Tell her something for me. What? Tell that she's very cute. Tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Would it kill you to just say how you really feel? What a fang said you were? What an asshole. Hate that guy. Request. Request. Request she show a transcript of Lord's entire testimony. Thought it might have given me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Don't fucking make me shoot through bullets. Because she didn't see the shooter. So the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. Lord of the position added to the court record to be continued I wish we got a to be continued on an actual end of the episode that'd be pretty, pretty cool December 26 attention center visitors room Maya how the fuck are you arrested again hey Nick it's you I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through to the day through the day okay it's a relief. Hey, what'd you do with it anyway? I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just be happy from now on, okay? Okay. My, are you just stuck in there? What the fuck? Slap with the camera. What's up? Our monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch since I came in. A real pro. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. How about what? She didn't commit any fucking crime. She just yelled something in court. Next to gum, she was just here just now. Yet, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Oh, he wanted me to. Get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? How much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. How do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? Any luck with Maya? No, and I can't get through to her at all. On account that she's fucking dead. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. She doesn't pick up her phone. I think I probably should have stopped my training. Sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if you'll ever see my sister again. No, because she's dead. Sorry, I'm fresh out of ideas. Mr. Edgeworth prints her on this pistol run day. He has the prints from his right hand. But they must have gotten on there at some time other than the shooting. What, really? The shooter used his left hand after all. So the markings on this bullet and the barrel of the pistol matched? Hey, I'm surprised you remembered that. How could I forget after Von Karma rubbed it in so much? So which one of these are the ballistic markings? Nah, I'm not really sure. Say interesting stuff. I want to see Gordy too. He really exists. Well, I'd say a photograph is pretty good proof. Once this trial is over, let's get some fishing poles and go down to the lake. Even if there is a monster in that lake, fishing poles sound like a bad idea. Also, this trial will never end because I'm gonna die before it ends. My mother. That I've shown for the picture, I'm not so sure it was the right thing to do. No, I'm pretty sure it was the wrong thing to do. Sorry about that. Isn't that the enlarged photo lot I was talking about? Uh huh. Huh. It's nice and big, but you can't really see the faces any clearer, can you? I gotta present her with everything, cause who knows what she might say. You can just show that to anyone and say, I'm a lawyer. Spirit mediums, well... I don't know what you're close, but at least some people would recognize you. But these are medium in training clothes. I wonder if I'll ever be a proper medium. Maybe get a job, you hippie. Get a haircut. 
so it's quiet here with nobody around. Alright. I have to get Maya out of the tension cell soon. How do I get her out of the tension cell? Looks like it's cleaning day again at the hotel. We're replying a second branch outside the city, blah blah blah. He says the same fucking shit every single time. I don't know why I even fucking bothered to come here just to press on all this shit. Let's move out. Here. December 26th, Police Department Criminal Affairs. The gumshit's not here. Gumshit's at the scene again today. Oh, oh, really? He's a live wire, that one. Got into a fight with the chief for not following protocol. Not following protocol? Like he wouldn't help them build a case against Edgeworth. What's up? This must be the chief of detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Rook the Bishop 7? Checkmate? I don't believe it. That's playing chess on the computer. Good for him. Poster of female police officer. Wait, no, that's the latest Babes in Uniforms calendar. God damn, I want a fucking Babes in Uniforms calendar. Hey, is that the police department's mascot? That's the Blue Badger. That was my idea. I made it, it's my mascot. I see, how nice. Why do I have to look at everything again? I don't fucking need to. Just want to do it. It brings nothing, unless this guy says something funny. This must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Don't do anything rush. Why jump? You have every reason to live. He must be doing image training for talking down a potential suicide. Think about it. Do a flip. I'm fucking narrowing down places to go. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. Or the detective Gumshoe is here today. Well, we were just told that he is. I imagine looking at the trees won't really fucking do much. Let's not look at them. Is Larry at work? December 26th. Guard Lake, Public Beach. Haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off band through the nose of... Off band through the nose on a date with his lovely Keyonce. The fuck kind of name is Keyonce? Got a feeling I should look around here. Like the famous Gord Lake. This green water stretch out on both sides. It's a pretty big lake, really. Huh? I almost didn't see that signpost. Crash bin. It's the police is well, place is well maintained. Benches. Hot dog stand. It's closed. Christmas fringe looks a little half baked. Banner reads samurai dog. Somebody needs to re redecorate. Right, this place is usually boring. Looks like the park rental shop is closed today too. Small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. It's probably closed because of the murder. Creepy woods. It's more forest up that way. Without that find any helpful clues in there. There's the boat. Some boats floating at the dock. Why is it that when the game's quiet, I actually hear like a very strange sound in my headphones? It's definitely coming from the headphones. The murder took place in a boat from this dock. Apparently, the police took away the actual boat that was used that night. Indeed, there's a space for one more boat at the dock. Alright, get the fuck out of here. Oh, now the sound is gone. Oh, and there's back. The fuck? The sound went away. It's 
absolutely silent right now. December 26th, Gold Lake Wood. And now there's music playing, so you can fucking tell. That's fucking strange, though. For some reason... There was, like, quiet? Like, when there was no music and I wasn't saying anything, I kept hearing this, like, weird buzzing sound from my headphones. But then I went to a different location and the buzzing sound went away, so... The game plays a very... Mild... Practically unhearable buzzing sound? The fuck is that? I don't know, but see you fellas in the next episode, bye.